G'day guys, it's Ninja here. I've got Das here again. We've got G'day guys. Part two of a video series. Mm. I'm intent on fixing Das. He's had this problem for is it two years or? Oh, we or, didn't look. Uh, no, 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 I'm I think, pretty sure it's. I'm pretty sure it's one, but Ninja yeah, thinks it's two. It might be two. Yeah, yeah, it might be two. Yeah. So we're we're gonna fix his ankle, leg, yep. lower yep. leg, all the yep. kind of restrictions because it, it pops up every time mm. he kind of does a bit more volume or mm. something a bit different or plays a game of footy. He's pulling mm. up sore. Yeah. So I want to kind of get to the bottom of it, clear it all out, mm. let it heal up, let him mm. strengthen it all up again. And so it's not, it's a history yeah. rather than um, a current issue that keeps yeah. on propping up. So yeah, do you want to tell us about how you feel since we yeah. did that first treatment? So the first treatment was really good. I had a, like a bubble in my Achilles that I felt like was a limitation. It almost felt like I was ready to strain it or injure my calf. Since then, Ninja got into like the, the calcaneus, like the bone and, and where the tendons attach onto that bone and cleaned that out and cleared it out. And that's, I, I don't have any restrictions in, in that part anymore. So that's all clean. But I actually feel like some limitations maybe through our front, like in the ligaments here. Yep. Last night I was getting a little bit of medial pain um, through there. Yep. Um, but the calves, the calf's been pretty good. It's it's yeah. probably more like ankle yeah, and, ankle and, and, and retinaculum. Yeah, retinaculum. Around and, there, yep. And we'll see how we go by yeah. treating that because yeah, usually the, the first block and then you find another one as you go on, don't you? Yeah, yeah. it's just, yes, yeah, so we'll do a bit of see. We, we try to vacuum our floor mm. for people out there. I'm going to start on his money spot. It's kind of like a, like a, a spot that I'm familiar with that's sort of like a, a pretty easy um, spot to start and kind of produce a little bit of um, beneficial pain right mm. off the bat. So I'm just going to try and feel for the slot just there. So I'm just going to hold it for a bit. We don't um, go in aggressive right from the start. We just need to make friends, mm. be a, acquaintance and get some, you know, that therapeutic sensation, but kind of don't overwhelm our person and get them to they want to fight and run away, yep. the fly to fight kind of thing. We don't want that. We want to calm things down and to kind of know that um, I'm here to help. I want to unblock things and relieve things. And um, yeah, we can really muck it up that first initial touch if we we um, go too aggressively, too fast, things like that as well. So just trying to, you know, let it settle down, let it hone in, and then we can start to, to go to work start exploring angles, start going deeper. And um, yeah, I'll let Darth talk for a tick. How does that feel in there? Yeah, so it's the perfect amount of pressure. It's not too overbearing. Um, I don't love getting, like it's not, a, it's not a favorite spot of mine to get this area done because there's a lot of nerve endings and it can be pretty sharp and I get a bit yeah. sweaty. And maybe later in the video, you'll see me, uh, you know, in a little bit more pain, but the initial approach is, yeah, Ninja's not, hurting me it yeah. feels like i can feel a little bit of referral into my foot but I, I know that that is like a perfect little key a uh, perfect little hole for a key to go into and unlock something that's limiting some movement yeah cool man so i've just been a, been on that exact same spot my thumb mm. hasn't you know left that sp spot on your skin but i have been changing angles slightly just to try and See if I can kind of tune in to where I can feel some calcification, some some spurs mm. that are perhaps you know in there that are limiting the the bones from moving around and gliding and things like yeah. that. The the tendons, ligaments might be um, being getting cut and you know on these micro levels and that mm. causes inflammation and bleeding and things like that after you know heavy sessions that DAS does. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, so I've just sort of probably reached that point now where I'm ready to, to start exploring a bit more. So what I might ask to ask is, if I push down into your foot bone there, how mm. does that feel? Mm. Good. Feels good? Yeah. If I go up more yeah. into your leg bone. That's more intense. That's more intense. Yeah. It's camping. Camping. It's intense. And we're all camping intense. Yeah, we like camping intense. Yep. Oh. Yeah, can just it's starting to feel sharper. Um, there's there's scar tissue in this area as well um, yeah. from the injury that I did, whether it was a year or two ago. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna check that work that out. Yeah. Work that out. But yeah, the scar tissue in there, the calcification, can feel that that 
he's he's like dissolving or yeah. Mm. So I'm pulling that up now. Mm. I might turn my thumb around just for the camera, but I would keep it the other oh, way. But yeah. push up that direction there. Yeah. So we can kind of, and then I'm getting into these. Um, they're like these fascial sheets, mm. the retinaculums they're called. Mm. So they're these. It's like you got tape mm. underneath the skin. It kind of kind of holds everything together, and that that can get um, you know damaged. I suppose yeah. when um, you have these. Um, traumas, you know, in, in the ankle, so it kind of yeah. gets, um, you know, strained and stretched and little tears and different things like that. And then the, the healing process, um, it can kind of scar up to make it stronger again. And then that can um, mean that the scarring is kind of jagged if you looked at it under the microscope and and that, that does um, cut into things. That, and uh, yeah, and it can mean that it doesn't quite stretch and, and move and groove like we want it to. I'm just gonna go up. Oh yeah. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna get myself down here like that so I can kind of get underneath and I can go up along there like that. It's really, really good. Yeah. So push up there. I'm trying to make it easier by pushing my ankle into Ninja's thumb. Yeah. If I was to relax, I'd be pushing away and it oh wow, that's sharp in there. Yeah. So yeah, and like um because um Darth did it as well, that that gives him the ability to kind of move his knee a little bit or he can stand mm. up or he can get into a little lunge and he can kind of, if he wants to, like he's yeah. just sort of, he can test it just to see if it feels like it's um, adding or hindering. So, and I, he can use me like a massage tool. So, um, and that's what we want. We want Das to get the perfect treatment for him right now. Mm. Something that he's kind of senses and he has a feeling and he knows, yeah, this is, this is hurting like crazy, but I'm going to endure it because I feel like on the other side of this, I'm going to be better, you know? And you just know that's like a language that you know that you're kind of tapping into a healing, you know, process, a mechanism yep. Yep. that's going to help clear the stuff that was stopping the, the full healing from happening. And then um, he's gonna, going to be able to go forward. Yeah. So... Just getting up more into that leg bone now. Is it still going? The, yeah, the pain? it's just nice. Like yeah. my uh, last experience of getting this done, which might have been at least six months ago, was was really really painful. And today's at a level that I am actually enjoying. It's a good therapeutic, productive pain. Yeah. And there, it's you hit the nail on the head. It's the perfect treatment for me, for how I, what state I'm in, emotionally or mentally, and ready for. And yeah, um, yeah, N N N you, you become um, become a bit of a, a guru at this stuff over time. You experience that whatever Ninja's feeling as the practitioner, he's also the facilitator. He can't come in and go, no, I know what's right for you, because it doesn't it's just too forceful you know it's like two negative mm. charges colliding and they just yeah. repel from one another yeah. you need to establish yeah. trust and yeah and um yeah that person might be really stressed and overworked and tired yeah so you gotta tune in you can't like the word probably is injected you can't yeah. just sort of inject your will yeah onto somebody else it's sort of like you you gotta tune in and, and kind of get to understand what, what they want. Yep. So I'm gonna go up, up through the, the gut <laughs> right now. That so already feels 50 to 60% better. Yeah. Like just going yeah. to the painful point. Yeah, so what I'm, I'm doing here, I'm getting a bit of a flatter um, tool with my thumb. So as I wanna kind of, um, my plan is with this one is connect in and really kind of engage with that fascia, but then stretch it up and over. So we're just gonna, it's a bit of a painful spot there. So we're just gonna pause for a bit, mm. wait, let that fascia melt. Mm. You can't rush the melting of the fascia. It's got its own little pace that it likes to melt at, you know, and depending on how um, dense it is, how, how long it's been there, kind of what it represents, is it represent kind of emotional trauma, you know, or a, a physical trauma, or, you know, all those kind of things are, come into play 
Uh, how ready Darcy is, like you were saying before. Sometimes th wounds are fresh. Yeah. You, and, and kind of like, if, uh, you know, even emotional wounds can still be fresh if they keep on thinking about them. You know what I mean? They, so, but if you kind of, um, you heal them, then they kind of, they go, or you kind of block them out, and um, they're just buried, then you've got to get down to the, where it's fresh again. And so, um, yeah, work through the layers of it. Oh. You've got to feel it to heal it type of thing. How's yeah. that? Yeah? yeah? Good? Just, oh, there it is. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we're working through this for, for Das. It's awesome. Yeah. Can reinforce my thumb a little. What I've been feeling with this ankle injury is I don't have the same amount of force in this leg as I do in my right one. Just feels like there's there's a bit of uncertainty with my confidence around holding my full weight on my left leg compared to my right. And I've been doing a lot of single leg stuff pistol squats, RDLs, Bulgarian split squats, double leg stuff where I'm doing my, my power squats and my deadlifts and rehabbing it a lot, but rehab gets you so far, you need, you need the treatment, um, the, the running repairs, the maintenance, uh, if you want to continue to, to be on your healing journey. Oh, far out. Yeah, there's lots in there. Opening that up. Yeah, that's another thing that you're doing when you're, you're doing these sort of things. You're actually pushing the bones back. Because yeah. when um, Darcy's, if you imagine this, like there's a bone through here. When Darcy's coming forward, the bottom part of that bone actually goes backwards. Mm. So it's sort of like you're actually pushing that bone back. Yeah. You kind of, that space in there for the, the get, this tissue gets compressed in here. If that's hard tissue, that can't compress. Yep. So that's another factor where, why you lack, you know, mobility through your rear lunge. You know? Yep. So it's not always this is too tight, it's not stretching. It can be this gunk that's stuck in here as well and the, mm. and the ability for that bone to move backwards, you know. So, yeah, we need to this, all this tissue in here to soften and compress and then we're, we're good. Yeah, that feels really therapeutic. Oh. Yeah, just stretching out. Just, you kind of, um, once you get into a treatment like this, you, you kind of get in a zone and you kind mm -hmm. of, you're tuned into the, the person and their, the state of their fascia, the health yeah. of their fascia. So you kind of, um, yeah, there's like a, a pressure and an angle and a pace and things like that that's you can feel that it's unraveling at and you just kind of stay in that zone and it, um yeah you kind of you know that you're delivering the work that they need you know so i can just feel as, as i've been working on this like I, i've felt different things present you know different little tendons and and blocks and things like that and, and um yeah you just sort of naturally you know traverse over them you know when it's like a speed hump you don't you drive in your car there's a speed hump you don't just go you know 100 kilometers an hour over it or there's a corner or the road slippery or there's a hill or there's a you know all the gravel you know all these different things if you're driving you kind of you drive to the conditions you know heavy traffic and things like that it's the same like when you're when you're working on um working with people you gotta um tune in to what's going on and uh, do the, the thing that's right for the conditions. So, and it even goes with conversation, you know, if you, you gotta tune in, you can't just be talking about your own shit all the time or um, sometimes you need to shut up and listen and because mm -hmm. they might um, be wanting to get some stuff off their chest and yeah. it's uh, a part of the, the healing. So I, I kind of say that, Everything counts in a in a healing session. You know, it's sort of a, the conversation, uh, your body language, your tone of your voice, the the mm. touch, of course, is imperative. Mm. It's all good. How's it feeling, man? Yeah, it's feeling really clean. Yeah. Like previously, I was just doing some of that stuff. Yeah, it feels just nice. Yeah. If it, 
Yeah, what are what, you what's thinking? Your, I was thinking I would suggest we do some down here. Yeah, yeah. How did that? Yeah. You, you like some of that? Yeah, definitely. So kind of, even just stand there, I'll show you. Yeah. Just get a palm, and like the middle of your palm goes through the bone, so it kind of, it's like a nice nurturing, <laughs> even though it's, it's brutal at the mm. same time, it just, it, it's the right tool. So I can, you can do elbows and different things like this, but I like a palm. You can even do a double palm like that. Yeah. And as, as I, and so I kind of sink in a bit, then Das can start to just do little lunges or go backwards and forwards and just sort of a wiggle, mm. you know, wiggle around, whatever he wants to move his mm. knee side to side. It kind of can, he can kind of feel what seems right, what Definitely. feels right, and what's going to help clean, clean out the gunk that's, it's been stuck holding this uh, oh, yeah. section of his body back. It's really good. So Ninj, you've we, we just saw your um your diploma over here and it's oh, back yeah. in two thousand. Two thousand, yeah. So how many so you've been it's twenty twenty four, so he yeah. was certified in twenty four years ago. Yeah. How many years did it take you to discover? Or what year was it when you started doing this type of ankle, ankle money spot? Ankle stuff. Ah. Uh -huh. I reckon ankle money spot I've been doing, yeah, since 99. So, I, so um, even before, I just, cause a lot of this stuff I discovered on my own body. I've had some pretty bad ankle traumas. I remember mm. my, my first real big one was when I was 15. I was back in Tasmania going for my, the state basketball mm. side and I just fucked my ankle and I still mm. had like three or four games to go mm. to play. So I played on this ankle, <laughs> you know, that was just... I couldn't walk between things where I would start to warm up. I don't know how I did it. I was just sort of just so wanted to get into this team. Yeah. And, but yeah, I just sort of... Running off adrenaline. Yeah, but just the ankle money spot, I just sort of pushed in there and it kind of made the whole thing feel better. So it was a lot of, yeah, just working on myself. And I, mm. I used to just, when I was playing footy and stuff, I'd, I, um, my ankle wouldn't be feeling right and I'd just push into the spots where I mm. felt and I'd lunge and I'd be there and everyone else would still warming up and I'd be doing that or I'd be armpit or, mm. you know, because I had different things going on. So, um, so much of my own, my working this stuff out was working on my own body and I just sort of knew that if I worked the spots on me and I fixed it, I'll do it on you, I can yeah. do it on anybody and fix it. And, and like, I suppose working chronic pain and sports injuries, when you can fix somebody or help somebody, I don't fix anybody. When you can help the, the healing process out on somebody who's got chronic pain, mm -hmm. bucket satisfying. Because mm -hmm. like you, you're changing their life. When you have got constant, you know when you've had pain just for a day or you know, a couple of days, it's shit. Mm -hmm. Imagine having pain day in, day out for 20 years or something. Mm -hmm. you know, how would your life be? How would your uh, attitude be? You know, how would your moods be? You know, yeah. if you've got this thing that's chronic, yeah, you know, holding you back, holding you back. And then if you can kind you. of, you can take that away, it's, it's life changing, you know, yeah. it's, and it's like, it's satisfying for us. We just, we just want to help people. We just want to get people out of pain mm. and, and we just, we've got a formula, you know, there's no drugs, there's no tricks. It's, yeah. it's just, um, you know, it's just two humans working together, filling in for what's right. You know, and, and it's fulfilling, yeah. filling in for yeah. fulfillment. Yeah, you know? it is, man. So you're on your journey. Yeah, and I reckon they would have been doing this back in the caves, you know. And and it, and it kind of like we've rediscovered it. It's been it's lost. Like I'm not the first person who's ever done body work, mm. but you know, and I want people all around the world to be able to have access to this. So that's why we're trying to teach other practitioners and or getting people that are attracted to this kind of thing, that are carpenters or they're you know, doing whatever, they're yeah. a cleaner or something like that, it doesn't matter. And if you, if you kind of resonate with this kind of work, you can do it. Yeah. We can show you how to do it, you know. Yeah, if you're not so, passionate about your job and mm -hmm. you just got your nine to five, whatever it is, yeah. there's, there's jobs out there that you can become passionate about. And this yeah. is something that mm -hmm. doesn't even feel like it's a job. Yeah. You know, we wake up and we help people mm -hmm. and people thank us. Mm -hmm. I thank them as well, you know, like it's, it's, it's a job that we're so grateful for that we're yeah. lucky enough that we're skilled enough to help people. Uh, on their journey and yeah, mm. it's the most fulfilling, rewarding thing that you can do is get people out of chronic pain. Yeah. Uh, get people out of acute pain as well, but yeah. chronic especially. Yeah, it's cool, so yeah. Mm. We feel like we don't work, we, we can be authentic, like even a bloke like me, you know, can 
I can be authentic and I'm accepted, you know. So be, being barefoot, you know, it, it was a risk, you know, like 12, 13 years ago for me to walk around the streets of Richmond, which is an inner city suburb of Melbourne. You know, I was doing that, I've been doing that, I've been, and that, I knew that was right. You know, it was right for me and like I've stuck to my guns with the, the way that I treat, you know, you, you get hecklers and different things like that. But I kind of knew in my heart that this was the right path. You know, you, you're better off to have the whole world against you than your own soul. Yeah, thing. So, that's yeah. what authenticity is, right? Yeah. And we're just encouraging people to be authentic, mm. find your tribe. If we feel like we're part of your tribe or your yeah. tribe, uh, you want to join our tribe, you welcome in, you know. Yeah. You, yeah. It's we'll a pretty cool you. tribe. It's a great, um, great team that we have here, and we're building on it. And we want like-minded people like you to to come and experience it, feel it, get treatment, practice it on yourself. That achy point in your neck, you know, Ninja discovering the way he fixed his own ankle when he was, you know, in the early '90s or late '90s. You know, that's just like you pushing into that sore spot in between your shoulder blades. It's bothering you while you're watching this 25-minute video or wh <laughs> whatever's coming up for you. Yeah. Um, you can learn to to fix yourself and then fix others, and that's yeah, it's God's it's God's work. Yeah, it's it is cool. Cleaning, cleaning, plumbers, plumbers. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, Foot. share, subscribe, all yeah. that kind of stuff. And yeah. Patreon for extra extra content and yep. if you want to join and learn our stuff there's a link below but you're gonna to have to be really quick because the, the this intake in February which we're in now is about to run up but there'll be another one later on in the year so don't stress if you miss this one and, and yeah sometimes it takes some time for people to to think about it and to consider and for it to process maybe I'm not happy doing what I want to do and, and you know you watch another video and another video and you realize these guys are the bee's knees on it hopefully yeah <laughs> all, right. all right cool watch out for part three we're going to follow this up because mm. i said i'm going to do three i'm going to fix him in three fix him in three yeah so let's um follow him up in a week or two and um see what the progress is and see yeah. where i need to go next yeah already feeling awesome so doing well thank you done <laughs>